Parasite is a roguelike, or maybe a roguelite, and I don't think a lot of people will have the patience to learn this on their own, so I'm gonna make this video explaining how to play it. I will also make a Steam guide, because to me this game is fascinating, and it starts with its really great music. So I'm gonna be playing this with mouse, even though I usually would totally use the numpad keys and also shortcuts, but we'll get to that later. For now I will use the mouse so you can see what I do. So let's close this pop-up, which sets the mood, and uh, we can at any time press spacebar to hide the UI and put it back in. And I'm gonna press F to make it full screen. We have a dog nearby. This is our first target. Okay, we cannot move it when it's in the uh, f f fog of war. So we're gonna have to click and click and then we can go there. All right, so now you might wonder what, what now? Well, you can jump off the dog, but you have to stay on the dog and now harden grip. And as you click Harden Grip, your energy goes down. Alright, that was just in time. We now have control of this dog. And we're gonna go with Easy, of course. I have never played any of the stages where you can pick a difficulty on anything other than Easy so far. And uh, there is no shame. There is absolutely no shame. So first start by reinforcing control, uh, which will increase the control over here. Keep in mind, energy goes down as soon as it is zero, your host dies, our dog would die. First goal is to find a human, we see some some there, there should be some humans on your screen in, um, in some direction. So just go to one of them, don't punch them, instead leave host and jump on the human and then harden your grip. They might scream. Invaded. This, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna read it. So now we can research by going to, uh, I mean, evolve by going to Evo and selecting Brain Probe. That's the only option at first. And uh, it'll take 10 turns. Uh, we actually take two turns per turn. I don't really get it, but whatever. So just uh, keep reinforcing control. <sighs> making weird sounds, maybe walking away from other humans so their question mark doesn't turn from white to yellow to red. So when it's red, they start screaming, or if they have a gun, they start shooting. And also, if they have, they have a cell phone, they might call the police, so step away and reinforce. And keep watching this area here, because at some point it will have a red message telling you that you will die if you keep uh, evol evolving. Uh, what's going on? Why don't... Oh, right, right, right. So I have maximum control, so I cannot reinforce control anymore. Don't stop evolution, instead just wait. And wait three more turns. Well, you know, I mean, not really free, but whatever free means. Okay, so now we have the ability to probe brains, which we can do, but it takes a lot of energy. It costs a lot of energy, so let's do that. And now, uh, it just t told us that humans can carry stuff. Now we can see in F2 body that we are carrying stuff. So let's learn about small plastic object. Let me show you what happens when you reach zero energy. It dies. So we're gonna have to quickly run to another human, so don't die when there's nobody there. Oops, I accidentally... Yeah, yeah, that happens. Carefully. All right, there we go. Reinforce control. That was a close one. This body lies there, and this policeman might find it uh, and then attack us. So let better reinforce control so you can run, run away properly. Yeah. And now I would recommend to keep evolving Brain Probe. But because we have actually host energy bonus, which might be renamed later, this is a fantastic evolution, so let's do that first. Also, let's check on the body because, yeah, okay, it despawned after 20 rounds, or I think, I think after 20 rounds, they despawn. Wait, 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 okay, we evolved uh, uh, energy bonus. And we're gonna die soon, so let's carefully, if, I mean, if there were other people nearby, I would not kill this host. And actually, I'm gonna try not, ah, okay, I will, I will kill this host because it's 26 energy that will, that will cost probe a brain. But yeah, we have to probe brains currently. Our current goal is to probe enough brains to learn that we live in a society. 
didn't learn that from her. Reinforce. And probe the... Actually, before we probe the brain, let's uh, get in body, F2 body. Let's get the host energy bonus. And we're gonna just wait. And wait until it ticks down. Uh-oh, that lady might discover that... Okay, she's going away. And... Alright, we, we got... 212 energy. Sure, why not? And now we're gonna... Uh, I don't know why we can already research microhabitat. That seems weird. Seems like a bug. Anyways, uh, don't do that. Microhabitats are bad. So we're gonna go for brain probe 2. Also probe the brain of this guy. Yeah, but we're not getting anything. We have to find more people, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Let's wait. Let's wait until we get this red message that will warn us of our upcoming demise. Well, that is strange. I just want to show it to you, so let's keep researching Brain Probe until we are at threat of dying. Alright, not anytime soon, so let's stop evolution and go to her instead. And this time... Yeah, okay, we're gonna kill him as well. Probe Brain, jump on her, hard and grip. Ah, crud, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Okay, let's get a host energy bonus. It's much easier with host energy bonus, life as a parasite, but you can do it without as well. But also you can just restart the game and try again until you, because it's randomized which kind of bonuses, uh, which kind of evolutions you can, you get to research, uh, evolve each time you start the game. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Let's wait and see if we can get enough energy within 10 turns. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3... Nope, we're gonna die. That was unfortunate. Let's probe a brain. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so now we get this message after uh, probing enough pr brains of different people. That's the important thing. We have to probe brains of different people. We get the info that we uh, can travel around places. So let's forget about everything else. Uh, reinforce control. And go to one of these manholes. And now learn about the object and then enter the sewers. And now we can walk around the map. And our first goal is this area with the question mark. But we're going to actually abuse the, the world map. We are currently in the sewer, so we're gonna go to evolution and just research brain probe. And uh, we're just gonna wait until the host dies. Oh, that doesn't... Huh, that's interesting. Z? Yeah, the shortcut on the keyboard works, but this button doesn't work. Uh, I guess I'll report that later. Um, so once the host dies, you can enter an area, and you will always spawn next to people or dogs. And dogs you can... Oh, crud, I, I hate this, how this jumps to leave host. Mouse control, this game is not for, made for mouse control, so that explains it. So now we will go through a cycle of finding hosts and also where the heck are they there. Um, leave host, jump on the guy, hard and grip. And I would actually just use the number one key on the keyboard for this. Uh, reinforce hmm? control. And I would start evolution of brain probe is the most important one. But anything else that you find interesting, you can also research. And then just go to a sewer, a manhole, cover, uh, enter the sewers, and then just wait. Which I have to press Z on the keyboard now for now. And then the host dies, but it's in the sewer, so nobody cares. So we can just enter an area. On, and this time we have humans around. So this speeds it up. Also, if you invade a human, the past evolution gets continued. Uh, reinforce control. 
and manhole cover and uh, enter sewers. And I'll just uh, repeat this. What you also can do is go to body and just learn about the different objects that they have. And actually, 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 what you should also do is probe the brain of various people. So, take a human. Also, when you are a policeman or woman, never leave the body because they will start shooting you. Uh, policemen, you always have to kill somehow, uh, is my recommendation. The same is true for enemy agents, which we will get to later. So let's enter the sewers and uh, wait. And repeat. I have to take a dog, run to a human, jump on them. And the important part is probe brain. Actually, we are learning a computer use skill, so I'm going to keep probing the brain. All right. And let's see, I think we finished. No, we still haven't finished. Let's finish that. Enter sewers. Wait. Okay, so now we have brain probe level 3, which will uh, make it even easier. And I think, I think brain probe level 3 might be required for the next step, which is to get a drug addicted uh, human. So let's just wait. Person dies, let's get in. Capture a human. Pardon grip, and then probe the brain. Alright, I'm not interested in her, so I'm gonna move over to the next human. That is not a policeman. I left the body, jumped on the body, and harden the grip. And then I probe the brain. And then I probe the brain again. Nope, didn't get what I wanted. Going on to the next one. X, jump, harden grip. This is a bit risky, especially... So now I'm running away from the police. And we move quite fast, so we can probe a brain as well. Alright, let's run away into the sewers. And you see these question marks on the map. They mean that this area is now suspicious of parasites. So let's go to a different section of the map. I don't know if you have to do it twice. What? Maybe once is enough. Oop. Police. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, that was close. So the thing is, you can also leave the area as a parasite. So I'm gonna, yeah, you, when you leave and then go into the sewers and then go back into a town tile, you always spawn next to dogs and the police are also gone. So let's leave a dog, jump on the human. This time I'm gonna jump on the policeman. Also, uh, by the way, just standing around humans makes them suspicious because they can kind of see that there is a parasite on top of your... or inside of you or maybe on top of your body, I don't know. Probe a brain. There we go. Finally, at random you can find a person that is addicted to chemicals, which is very useful because now you have a new evolution uh, step, dopamine regulation, which removes the need to reinforce control of a host and also actually reinforces control of a host automatically, which might or might not be a bug. I'm not sure about that, but it's extremely useful. So research that, you only need level 1, extremely useful. And just wait for that to finish. We can actually go to the sewers and then just wait here. That Because time on the map goes, I think, 5 turns per, per turn or something like that. So now we have uh, the dopamine, dopamine regulation. And we don't need to worry about control anymore, except in the beginning stages. So, uh, to summarize, we have uh, brain probe level 3 and we have this uh, dop dopamine regulation. Host energy bonus can be fun, but it's not necessary, so we're gonna skip that. So now, uh, first let's kill off a policeman. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, I mean, it doesn't work here. So Z, 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 enter the area. And now we have this uh, interesting new task. Uh, first let's jump on the dog so we can capture a human that is far away from a, from a policeman because this, this guy is gonna attack. So let's go grab her. And I don't know why we just saw these pieces of paper, must be a glitch, so let's click over here, go on these, learn about object. And the interesting part is that the interesting thing for us to find are these pieces of paper, which we can just read like this, in body, and then read note, the chain of events, blah 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 blah, blah. and then again, I always choose easy, choose easy in all steps so far. Uh, body, read the rest. So you need to find a lot of papers and read them all, keep energy in mind, 
because it's it costs a lot of energy to read and you're gonna die we feel someone watching us this means there are secret agents or enemy agents around which are just civilians usually but they have a gun and they uh, when they see you in your form or identify you as invaded with a parasite they will attack you and it's extremely dangerous and now let's go and take over this guy we can see that we are not an agent because we don't have a pistol I think this one might be so let's uh, host jump harden grip yeah tango they always scream tango uh, these agents and if we go into body, we can see metallic object, which is a pistol. And if we probe the brain, uh, we get the name. Let's probe some more. Pistol skill. We learn pistol skill. We can actually now shoot people, but that would be stupid, so let's not do that. If you're interested about the story, you can read the, the stuff you learn from these notes in Timeline. But also interesting is that you at some point realize where you have to go next. So we, for example, have to go to uh, a laboratory at the coordinate 16,0. So let's go to sewers and then... Oh, and there's a person we can invade here. Uh, let's try that. Uh, let's get a dog because when dogs shout, they just bark and nobody cares too much. And the people that you have to... that you can get info from, they just have this weird face on top of their actual non-face face. So just walk up to them and capture. Right, and when you... First of all, let's check. Does this guy... Yeah, they, this guy is an agent. He has a pistol. Let's probe a brain. And you get more clues from that. Oh, and then you find out about the group. Escape? Yeah. Uh, again, easy. And F to full screen again. Okay, so now in body, uh, in this area, we find group info, which I still don't really understand, so I'm gonna not try to explain it, because, uh, I mean, you could read the text that just appeared. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, the main thing is uh, that you need to know is to not build a microhabitat. The human does not know anything else, and also cannot teach us any skills. What? So now we're gonna go here into the sewers, and now we're gonna look for the lab, which is at zero... Timeline... 16-0. I think 16 is the... yeah, so now we're at 16, you can see the coordinate here, and 0, is that up or down? Yeah, up up is 0. Okay, just making sure I'm not... Str in the green, there is no humans, uh, so don't go there without enough energy. So enter the area, uh, yep, and let's go up there. Enter area. And then you get the task to research camouflage layer. In the current version of the game, it's uh, these body modifications are, except for host energy bonus, they are all useless in my opinion, at least for my playstyle. So I'm going to ignore that. So let's get reports again. Okay, we only have 30 energy, so let's make it quick. Hmm. Yeah, let's die, I guess. Risky. So now just repeat the whole process until you turn again, again with these agents. Hello? Don't get too cornered because this can be dangerous. We will probably see an uh, an ambush at some point. Whoops. Oh, whoa, okay. Good thing I was right on top of a manhole cover. Dogs can't read, so get a human. Uh, ideally one that is not... I mean... If you get an agent, that's fine, but I didn't know which... Oh, there we go. I didn't know which of these people was an agent, so I wouldn't risk uh, capturing a human if I know that someone next to them is an agent, or could be. Okay, so now we get this message. Something is wrong, they're after me. This is an ambush, and uh, we can see one of the um, SWAT team ambusher ambushers over there, once that happens, the point at which you're standing will be quickly uh, well approached by three, I think, of these guys. So you need to freaking get out of there, because they will identify you quite quickly when they see you. So just move away. Oh, four of them, actually. And I, I would just go to a manual cover and immediately leave, and then go back in. And that's pretty much it. 
Also now we have a book here which we can learn about but we cannot read them because uh, it requires intense concentration. You need a uh, microhabitat for that which is like a nest but too risky. Don't get microhabitat for your first playthrough maybe. <sighs> I'm getting greedy uh, so we're gonna just leave and I see faces so I'm gonna capture humans instead and just continue uh, just finding people or documents. She does not have a gun, so I'm gonna jump on her as well. Pro brain. Oh, look at that. We see a spaceship. We found the spaceship. I think that was random, but at some point you're gonna find a spaceship that looks like a question mark. But for now we're just gonna hit... Yeah, 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 we're gonna just run away. Okay, uh, with this person we're now gonna enter the sewers and go to this location. It... yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say. This was pretty lucky. We kind of at random, I think, found that location. Do we even have a log info? I mean, do we have a timeline info about that the spaceship was there? Maybe, I guess, 19,4. I guess we did have the info, yeah. So let's in enter the area, go to the question mark, and enter a spaceship. And then you get a final mission. Induction of some human. I don't know if we actually know where that person is supposed to be. Maybe 2110? That's not 2110. Alright, we're just gonna give it a shot. Nope, oh, there we are. So we didn't get a message that we got the correct host, so this is not the guy we're looking for, so let's enter the sewers. So we're gonna now check uh, this guy down here. Wait for them to die. Jump on a dog. Dogs are better for this because they don't uh, run around calling the police. Freaking heck. Whatever. At least this guy is isolated and alone, so. And right on top of a manhole. Perfect. Alright, target invaded. I need to return to my spaceship. Perfect. Let's uh, enter the sewers and go to wherever the spaceship was. Yeah, it was at the lab. Go to the big question mark at the top here. There it is. And enter the spaceship. Mission accomplished, I can return to the HQ. In future versions there will be a more satisfying ending, I'm sure. But for now, this is how you finish the game without dying and by winning. Alright, I'm off to writing the Steam Guide now. Enjoy uh, exploring the microhabitat mechanic though, that is pretty cool, but uh, it can makes the game more complicated and riskier at this point, so I stay away from it. But I will see you next time, and until then, ciao.